Digging up the past, literally. Storytelling, handling medieval artefacts and sword school is all part of the hands-on history event happening at the ruins of the Salisbury settlement. This year the event is focusing on archaeology with an interactive approach. I think it's really important because it really gets them interested in it, for them to have the opportunity to have a go at archaeology or learn about the people who lived and worked here on the site where it happened, it really gets them interested in history in a way that's a bit more engaging and a bit more involved for them and fun as well. The aim is to create a better understanding about the role of archaeologists and how new discoveries are made. It's learning all the different pieces of what goes on behind the scenes, what real people do with their jobs, so archaeologists and how, um, how careful you've got to be as an archaeologist because you're kind of like a history detective who pieces together bits of a story so we can learn about the past. What was once a castle and the original location of the Salisbury Cathedral, the English Heritage Site wants to promote the history it holds. Well, Salisbury is such a historical place, there's history everywhere in Salisbury, so this is an amazing place to come to and learn a bit about our heritage and about preserving it and the importance of uh, looking after things we find in museums and how, how the story goes, how we find these things, basically. After launching last year, the Hands On History event has also expanded to feature at Old Wardle Castle near Tisbury. This summer, both sites are looking to educate and spark children's imaginations. With uh, flint and steel, we've had, just now we did uh, object handling, and we had a flint and steel, and we were asking them what they thought it was used for. We had a lot of people who thought it was a moustache, a lot of people who thought it was for manicures back in the medieval period, so we've had a lot of fun answers. Um, but yeah, I love, I love it when they discover, particularly about the medieval wee pot, that it's not like a, a wine pot, but it was a toilet. They love that, so it's a lot of fun. At the end of August, the event will finish with a reenactment of a medieval joust complete with horses and knights. Cara Digby, that's TV.